But Facebook is up in the pre-market after launching a new cryptocurrency called Libra with a projected launch date in the first half of next year. The move is designed to expand the company's presence in e-commerce and global payments, also creating a regulated subsidiary called Calibra, which will roll out a crypto wallet based on the Libra currency. Earlier on Squawk, the head of Calibra spoke about the differences between Libra and things like Bitcoin. If you want to compare Libra with traditional cryptocurrencies, the first thing uh, and the first big difference is that typically cryptocurrencies are investment vehicles or uh, you know investment assets rather than being great medium of exchange. And, uh, and this is really designed from the ground up to be a great medium of exchange, a very high quality form of digital money that you can use for everyday payments and cross-border payments, microtransactions and all kinds of different things. Uh, David Marcus, a longtime Facebook yeah. vet, and they're not doing this alone. 27 partners. And most importantly, PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard. Now, some people are saying, Jim, and they only put in a token amount. The fact is they're not fighting it, unlike some of the bigger banks that take more VIG. Uh, I described this yesterday as being uh, brilliant uh, because I think that this is a way to be able to show Congress, government, we're really trusted. We're doing this uh, nonprofit. There's 2.6 Billion people that are underbanked. This is, I thought that at one point they were going to buy PayPal, of course, David Marcus from PayPal, in order to be able to make this happen, but instead they're able to do it themselves. Uh, I think that it's going to take the heat off. Don't forget, it, it will work even for the check cashing people who have no. Uh, uh -oh. No, no, um, I don't want to. No, I don't um, want to. Um, I mean, uh, let, let's not dwell on the goody two shoes part of this. Uh, no, what should let's we do? Talk just talk about the actual business implications of it. First, First of all, they're going to make money from this. You well, eventually in, the, eventually, in the same way that Venmo, that, that yeah. uh, PayPal is starting to, to make money from But this Venmo. does seem to be, in, in the handful of conversations I've been able to have about it, I mean, they seem to have leapfrogged over some of the institutions in the banking world. Yes, this is, this is cash over credit card right to digitization. And we're also and we're all well aware, for example, of all the payments companies that have merged this year. Yes! And there's a question, will that be a new wall of money coming at the payments company? Disenfranchises those, David. Disintermediates that. Does it disintermediate Yeah, that's what them? the blockchain is. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why none of them are involved. And I, I look, I keep trying to find flaws in it. I cannot find the white paper the white paper. Read something, you know, in an era where the, where the executive branch doesn't really spend a lot of time doing things like white papers. Uh, I thought it was brilliant. And, and if it weren't Marcus, I would question it. But this is not a charm offensive. It's something good. But how about if you saw... They roll from, it out also with two billion people on the platform. They don't have so, enough money yet, but they will. It's yeah. a, look, if you have in one of those currencies that 48% of the world is in currencies that are terrible. That are inflating all the Never, time. That's what crypto was originally for which was to be able to deal with North Korean currency or deal with uh, Venezuelan currency. And I, I think it's brilliant. I, I, I don't have any flies on it other than to say that if you're a real cynic, you can say, you know what, this is a way to be able to show Congress, you know, 2.6 billion people trust us. I don't know what you're worried about with the, the privacy thing. We are Mr. Privacy and Mrs. Privacy. I think it's brilliant. Yeah. Well, Becky tried to get Marcus to... Uh delineate what data is going to be looked at by whom, yes. what will be used to market to whom. Uh, and his point is that that's not, it'll be siloed from the core Facebook it operation. It is exactly the opposite of what we think of Facebook. Uh, Marcus is a very serious player. I, it's real, guys. And it's real to the point of if you, when I went to see with Jamie Dimon to a, a difficult part, a tougher part of Philadelphia, all that you saw were check cashing outfits. The vig that they take. I mean, this, all the companies that take, when you, at Bar San Miguel, I don't like to take credit cards. Why? Because they get like 2 3%. I can't do this because you can't do it as a merchant. But this eliminates tremendous friction and makes it so that if someone has, this is kind of like what we think about whole group, like in Uganda. Okay, take Uganda. They did, they skipped the Telco, the, uh, they skipped the fixed asset, the fixed line telco, right. and went right to the right cell to the wireless. Yep. That's yep. what this is about. And it, it's brilliant, and I really think that in the end we'll say, well, you know, Facebook does, is not just a force of, uh, of, of taking your name and selling it. This is being as private as possible, or Dan Schulman from PayPal wouldn't have gotten behind it. The Libra blockchain piece, you know, unfortunately they use words like blockchain and crypto. That could, but it is blockchain in the sense that it's very secure. 
Yeah, but it's I, I, what? What, what it seems to be capturing people's uh, attention this morning is not necessarily changing the face of Facebook to become a friendlier You don't like that, one. though? No, I mean, maybe that happens, maybe it doesn't. But, I mean, you've got Mark May, who I know is going to join us later, yeah, saying like this report suggests it's the most, you know, the, one of the most well-organized efforts by a global consumer tech company yet. Uh, you want to steal that got, from me? I did that yesterday. You did. And you, on the ma you on your mad dash, you pointed all this out. Yeah. Uh, Mark Mahaney saying it's, it's, this could be one of the most this. important initiatives in the history of the company to unlock new engagement and revenue streams. Yes. I said that yesterday. He says it today. I say it here. It comes out there. He gets paid millions. I get nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, get out your violin. Yes. Oh, we we be, feel we're so sorry. Is this Henny Youngman? Homes. No, look, I mean, the introduction to Libra, uh, Zuckerberg, I mean, Zuckerberg sounds like, yeah, yeah he's, he's almost biblical. Uh, but there is, um, it works. I think it's a good idea. They well, do have this network. We all did think it was going to be PayPal. And that that's why PayPal's going up, like, from 80 to 117. Well, and, and, Facebook's going to And Fang itself, uh, since uh, Del Rahim's speech, Facebook's up, what, 17%? That was the time to buy when everyone... And now, this, can you imagine, like, people coming and saying, listen, I had no bank account, no one would lend me money, I couldn't open an account, and then Facebook came to see me. Facebook, the new J.P. Morgan, with no profit. Now, they're also launching the Calibra digital wallet for Libra, yes. which will be available in Messenger, WhatsApp. So that is going to help the I mean, conceivably. Do you think it'll be used in Cuba? Yes. Why? Because Cuba why Libra. <laughs> it'll be used in Venezuela. It'll be no, all these countries like Cuba, Venezuela, and North Bitcoin Korea. Why has been going up? Why is oh, that, I, I, I don't know about if this why is Bitcoin. going to be well, potentially I think it, You don't think it's about institutional participation? Yes, I, mean, I do. Or yeah. I think just people, more people in their I think people feel too. that finally that these currencies are going to start getting backing. I personally believe that this is not a currency. It is a de facto way that's backed up by a, a pool of money that is to be able to make it so that your, cur your currency is not wrecked every minute for hardworking people who did not want to just find all of their money constantly debased by the Venezuelan government, by governments that are irresponsible. But look, well, you Argentina. make it sound more like an international play then. Yes, absolutely. So you don't think it's U.S. centric Only or other than people, people of the lower rung of the income? Exactly right. And I think that the lower rung people are going to be in favor of it. And I think that a lot of the critics in Congress are going to so, be saying, you, you're criticizing an institution that finally allowed me to have a bank account. There's a so lot be to careful. figure out here in terms of who gets helped, who gets hurt. I mean, if you're but facilitating is, commerce across this platform at the levels that may be possible, years in the future, of course. But if you're from Zimbabwe and you want to buy something no, in, I get in, it. in, in, in Kyrgyzstan, the implications this works. Of it, right, are, it works. are potentially very large, yes, including this, for large financial institutions look, that may have been leapfrogged here. Right. Can you believe an international bank that does not take 2%? When charge you, you know what the credit card rate? I told you what the credit card rate in Mexico is. It's forty percent. Yeah, that's crazy. These people should use this. They will. The disenfranchised will welcome Mark Zuckerberg as a savior. Yeah, he's a great man.